Creepy Pair of Underwear. Words by Aaron Reynolds. Pictures by Caldecott Honor Winner, Peter Brown. How are you today, my friends? How are you today? I hope that you're okay, my friends. Oh, someday I know we'll be hanging out together. But I hope you are okay today. I certainly look forward to the day we're hanging out. But for today, we still get to hang out with each other this way. Do you notice anything different? Of course you do. We're in a completely different location, approximately 15 feet from where we used to be in a whole new room. The entire recording, recording studio has moved here. Now, the sunlight might be playing tricks with the lighting and I might have to figure that out, and I sure will. But for now, and for today, I'm super excited to be in a new space. Hey, Red Squirrel. Yeah, are you excited to be in a new space? It sure took you a long time. I know. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. This is lovely. Right? Yeah. You've got this beautiful owl wind chime thing up here. I love that. And then the book's over there now. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, the curtains are very lovely. Thank you. I thought it was a lovely setting. Yeah. Yeah. I like it quite a bit. I'm glad you like it quite a bit. Um, what are you thinking? I'm thinking you should just read the book now. Okay, fair enough. We're going to just read the book now. So I'm going to say, but put you over in your home. Okay. All right. Lovely red squirrel. Let's read this book. Okay. Creepy pair of underwear. What's happening on the splash page? There are underwear and underwear and underwear and... Creepy pair of underwear. Slip jacket on the floor. There's a slip jacket on the floor, on the floor. There's a creepy pair of underwear right here. If I hold the book high, it can kind of cut that sunlight. Woo! A lot of sunlight. Thanks for hanging out with me. Jasper Rabbit needed new underwear. On Thursday... Mom took him to the underwear store and grabbed the last three packages of plain white. But as they headed for checkout, Jasper spotted them. Creepy underwear. So creepy. So comfy. They were glorious. Mom, 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 mom. Can we get these? Jasper pleaded. I think they're a little too creepy, said Mom. They're not creepy. They're cool, said Jasper. I'm not a little bunny anymore. I'm a big rabbit now. Mom agreed to buy one pair. Do you see that look on her face? One eyebrow up, one a little bit stern. She has two expressions. She's feeling serious and perhaps a bit frustrated. And she's also feeling, whoop, let me cover it up this way, curious and interested. So she ends up with that interesting expression with two looks on her face. That night, Jasper wore his cool underwear to bed. Yeah! Um, do you want me to leave the uh, hallway light on? Asked Dad. Dad, I'm not a little bunny anymore, said Jasper. I'm a big rabbit now. His dad shut the door, and that's when Jasper noticed. The underwear glow. A ghoulish, greenish glow. Oh, he wasn't quite prepared for that, was he? Wonder if he's going to become worried and anxious. Well, it looks like he might. He closed his eyes. He pulled up the covers. He buried his face in his pillow. But it didn't help. He could still see that ghoulish, greenish glow. 
Oh, he is anxious and nervous. Jasper leapt out of bed and put on a pair of plain white. He stuffed the creepy underwear into the bottom of his laundry hamper. Stuff, stuff, stuff. And he finally fell asleep. Oh, they're very glowy, aren't they? Have you ever had something glow in the dark that's very glowy? But when he got up the next day, he was wearing the creepy underwear. Oh, my goodness. Jasper threw them into the garbage can. He was still a big rabbit. He wasn't scared or anything. But he was done with the, sc uh, the uh, creepy underwear. Scary underwear. Creepy underwear. You know what I mean. After school... Jasper was doing his homework when he heard it, a scratchy, scraping sound. Coming from his dresser, he opened the drawer and they were back, staring at him with that ghoulish, greenish glow. My goodness, these creepy underwear keep coming back. What's happening? He snatched the creepy underwear from his drawer. He grabbed a big envelope and some stamps. He wrote to China. Let's get these things as far away as possible. Bye-bye, scary underwear, he said, dropping the package glowing green in the mailbox. When he opened the front door the next morning, they were there. And were those chopsticks? His creepy pair of underwear had somehow returned from China, and it had brought back souvenirs. A stuffed animal? There's a small trinket and a fan. Oh, boy. He's really got himself creeped out now, doesn't he? It's hard to focus on him because he's so dark and afraid. Uh-oh. Do you see that shadow in the background? It looks like, well, Jasper grabbed his mom's good sewing scissors. She didn't like him using them. But this was an underwear emergency. My goodness, he used the good sewing scissors. Ha ha ha, this time the creepy underwear were gone for good. He made creepy underwear green glowing confetti. At bedtime, he slowly opened his underwear drawer. Nothing, just plain white undies. He searched under his bed. Nothing there. He shook out his lampshades. Whew. There was no sign of creepy underwear. He went into the bathroom to comb his ears. <laughs> I did not know rabbits combed their ears. Ah, they were back. My goodness. He is very, very freaked out. And mom doesn't know what to do. What's the matter with you? His mom asked. You're so jittery lately. Nothing, he yelped. A grown rabbit couldn't be terrified of his underpants. He's got to keep it to himself. Because we grown-ups don't think that's very creepy. You know what the little prince thinks about us. Well, he seized his underwear and snagged a shovel from the garage, and he rode. He didn't stop pedaling until he reached Creek Hanger Hill. Jasper began to dig. He dug until his hole was dark and deep and 100% underwear proof. He's very confident and proud of himself. He dropped the underwear in. They gleamed from the bottom, that ghoulish greenish glow. The underwear look angry now. But not for long, ha 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 ha, not for long. And there he is, happy, having made the hole full. When he got home, Jasper crept up to his dresser. They couldn't be in there. There was no way, right? Reached for the handle. He peeked in. Nothing, just plain white. Jasper smiled and turned out the light. Let me turn out my I'll even close these curtains to give you an idea of what we're talking about here. See, now Jasper had those creepy underwear. But when he turned out all those lights, I tell ya. Whew! See that? Yes. I can't wait to see that creepy glow. 
Oh my. Oh my. What is happening? <laughs> there was just one problem. It was really dark in there, even for a big rabbit. <laughs> Let me turn on the light again, because that's what Jasper did. We'll just give you the light and not the curtains. Jasper turned on the light. He looked at his non-glowy pair of plain white, and he knew what he had to do. The creepy underwear were a little muddy, but they still filled the room with that gentle greenish glow, and they seemed happy again. The next day, Jasper gathered his allowance money and went to the underwear store all by himself, just like a big rabbit. That night, Jasper was not afraid at all. He lay down to sleep and he smiled. And so did his underwear because they had finally found somebody who was not scared of creepy underwear. <laughs> Look at how happy he is. He's using all of those creepy underwear as nightlights. And they're going to have so much fun. And they're not actually creepy. They're just glow in the dark. And that helped him. Here on the splash page, we have a very happy, creepy pair of underwear. Unlike the creepy pair of underwear on the front splash page, which is kind of angry and frustrated. I love this book. I adore this book, and I love and adore you. And so do I, and so does Red Squirrel. We all love and adore you. We hope you have a lovely, lovely evening. And uh, we'll be hanging out with the little prince tomorrow. Mr. Craig can't whistle.